بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم Next one is fix and applied consumer payments and credit. What do you mean by this one first? It means that if a particular customer has invites outstanding as well as they have credit available in the business, so that credit which is available in the business can be adjusted with the amount of invites. If invites is more, then the remaining amount should be paid by the customer. If credit is more, the remaining amount should be repaid by the business to the customer. Click on this one. So these are the list of the customers which they have credit available with the business. For example, let us select one of the customers uh, by the name of, we can say Khatra. Khatra, for example, she has two types of credit with the business. See, this is the list of the credits. First, select a payments or credit. These are the credits which she has with the business. And this is the list of the invoice that she has. She is payable to the business. Invoice or charge. These are the invites and charges, and these are the amounts of, these are the credits or deposits which are made by her. It means this is the balance that we have to pay to her, and this is the balance that she has to pay to the business, right? So, so when you call her to please pay the amount of invites, definitely she will ask to adjust the amount of credits which are available in the business. And this is, of course, based on the reality. Why you are calling her to pay your money? Although she has a credit available in the business. So if she has a credit available in the business, definitely that credit should be adjusted with the amount of invoice. First of all, let us, for example, we have to, let us adjust the first one. But remember, the amount of invoice is 23,000. The amount of credit is equal to how much? 21,000. Let us adjust this one first. Okay, we want to adjust it. Then, 21,000 is adjusted. How much balance is available as an invoice? So amount of 2,000 is available, but still she has credit available in the business. How much credit? 79,000. Definitely, when you adjust this amount of 2,000, the balance will be equal to amount of how much? 77,000. Adjust this one. Yes. How much balance is available? 77,000. In this way, you can do for each, for every, every customer. These are the credits available for Ehsan Allah, and these are the invoice which are payable by him, right? Let us select, for example, uh, let us say, for example, this is a credit, and this credit should be adjusted with all invoices. Whether it is enough or not, let us see. Definitely, this is enough. Why? Because this balance for a small, small amount. So, adjust this one. Right? This is adjusted. So, uh, this is basically the logic of how we can adjust the balance of the credit available. Uh, by, by each customers or the credit available for each customers as well as the amount of invoice or the amount that is payable by each customer to the business. So their credit should be adjusted with this one. So not only for this, you can do for every customer. And the same thing can be done for vendors as well. Not only the customers, for the vendors. For the vendors, these are the credits. But this time, remember that these are the credits that we have. It means these are the credits that the business have on the uh, we can say on the account of on the account of suppliers or we can say these are the amounts that the supplier should pay to the business why because this is our balance and these are the bills these are the bills that we have to pay to the supplier for example the first one is Aligul. Aligul is one of our supplier how much credit do we have with him for example we have twenty thousand. and how many invoices are applicable there there are several invoices for example, one of the invoices amount of 20,000, so let us adjust these two against each other, right? Save it. Save on this. Okay, find out. Then, for example, select Ghulam Farooq. How much credit we have with Ghulam Farooq? For example, we have 12,000. And how much is payable to him, for example? For example, let us select this invoice, this bill. How much we are payable? We are payable 12,000. 12,050. But the amount that we have with him is amount of 12,000. So let us adjust and the remaining amount should be paid. See, now remaining amount is only how much? 5,000. So 12,000 is adjusted with our credit. So like this, you can check for every, for every supplier that how much credit do we have and how much we are payable. How much we have? We have this much. How much we are payable? For example, we are payable 6 lakh. So if, if 25,000 is to be deducted, Definitely the balance is equal to how much? 5 lakhs 25. So this was the purpose of 
uh, the purpose of the section that how we can fix fix unapplied vendors payments or fix unapplied customer payments right so fix unapplied customer payments as well as the vendors if we have credit with it with a supplier how we can adjust it with the bill if customer has credit available with our business how we can adjust that one with the invoices right so in this way you can do the some of them why several other consumers are not shown here well, because because they don't have balance with the business they don't have credit so all those customers which they have credit available in the business of course they can be shown if the balance is removed from here definitely definitely the customers also the customer name will be removed from here right so let, uh, let me check a few more customers for example let me check with john how much credit is available here let us say for example these are the credits let me for example apply all these credits with one of the invites which a huge amount definitely when i apply this one so name of umijan will be removed from the list why because he has no more credit available to the business apply it umid is removed from the list why because he has no credit uh, available in the business so this was the information regarding fixed and applied customer payments or vendor